it's Elizabeth of ERW Plans. That's ERW underscore plans on Instagram. Online, ERWplans.com. And on Etsy, ERW Plans. Today, I'm gonna to show you three ways to add more room to your passion planner for writing. The first way to add more room to your passion planner is with a Dutch door. On my Etsy shop, you can buy the template for this Dutch door, which will add a two-sided task list. You can also go to erwplans.com and download a blank Dutch door template so that you can put in a blank page or make your own. Here, I've printed out and cut out the double door task list, which you can buy on my Etsy shop, ERW Plans. I have folded it along the line here, and I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the fold. Just make sure when you're putting the adhesive on the fold, you don't put it on the inside as well. You just want to put it on the fold. I want to take the fold and I'm going to stick it right into the seam of the page and push down. You can either use a fingernail like I'm doing, or if you don't have fingernails, you can go ahead and use your spatula tool. Then, if you want to do extra reinforcement, you can go ahead and add a strip of washi, either to that side or to the interior side here. I'm going to use it on the side here. And because I'm going to do it, I'm going to run it the entire length of the page just so it doesn't stand out and look kind of weird. But if you have whitewashy or you're using like some clear cello tape, then you can go ahead and just do this part here. Now I have a Dutch door and I tripled the amount of my task lists that I have available as writing space. Another way to add more space to your passion planner is to add a full page. This is a dot grid page that I got from the passion planner website. What I'm going, what I've already done is cut across the top line, the side and the bottom line. I've left this line intact because I'm going to fold on that line. I have printed it double sided so that both sides have the dot grid on them. Now, I can tape it in here and I can figure out exactly where I want to cut this or I can fold it again in half again have a nice sharp crease. I can put that crease into the seam of the Passion Planner page and glue down both sides. What I'm going to do if I do that is trim this so that it doesn't overlap with these lines here or these lines here because I'm going to glue down both sides. Then I'm going to go ahead flatten it out Put down your permit adhesive or your, your glue or your double-sided tape, whatever works for you. Refold it in that middle line. Line it up here. And then you can either use your spatula tool or in my case, I'm using my fingernails right now to make sure that crease goes that that fold goes right into the crease. Make sure that it doesn't overlap with any of your page. Put 
any excess glue you want to wipe off. You can also use some double-sided tape. And now you have an additional page in your planner to write on, do whatever notes you need, etc. Once again, you may want to reinforce with double-sided with um, some washi tape. In this case, I'm going to do that just to cover up the instructions that are on the page. You can either use a narrow piece of tape like this, which is what I'm going to do, or you could use a thicker tape. This one is three millimeters and it will actually cover up the instructions, which is all I'm really using it for here. You can also, if you have Photoshop, Photoshop out the instructions, and then you'll just have the clean piece of paper. But now I have an entire full sheet to add my notes onto for the week. You can also, if you're adding a full sheet like that, go ahead and cut it here and then have basically two Dutch doors so that if you just want to look at your week and you want to keep this open, you can do that. Or if you wanted to keep this open and flip that, you can do that as well. Finally, you can add a flip page, notebook page, or what's sometimes known as a flippy panel to your planner. In this case, I have taken the image from the bottom of my social media kit that you can buy in my Etsy shop and I have placed it upside down and horizontally flipped to the checklist from Chelsea Brown's um, shop which is Chelsea Brown Designs on Etsy. Basically I took hers, printed it out, flipped this, printed it out so that they're upside down from each other on each side. Now what I'll do is I'll cut them out. You can get fancy and use a T-square and a X-Acto knife or slice tool like I might usually do. Or for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. When I did my design, I made sure that there is the lines surrounding the media this week page from the media kit lined up with the lines on Chelsea's kit so that way when I cut them out I'm not cutting the design out on either side. So to-do list on one side, media kit on the other. I also made sure to leave space at the bottom because once again we're going to be gluing. From Chelsea's kit what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the line at the bottom from the bottom of her kit and I'm going to fold along that edge. I just realized I said kit, hers is just an, another PDF sheet like mine. Hers is the Space of Infinite Possibility print out, checklist printout that you can get. I'm going to use my nail to make a nice sharp edge. There are also tools that you can use. Much like with all the other pages we've been doing today, we're going to take our glue or permanent adhesive or double-sided tape, go along that folded down edge, and add adhesive. You do not have to use the Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive like I'm using. You could use a glue stick. You could use Elmer's glue. You could use regular double-sided cello tape. You can even forego tape altogether and tape it in with uh, washi tape like we did to reinforce the Dutch door. Now we're going to go ahead, line this up at the very bottom of our page, and flip down our flippy panel. Now I can write down here to plan out my social media, in this case for the week, and then I can flip it up and I have to-do space that actually lines up perfectly with the days that each to-do list goes with. You can then double that if you're going to use Chelsea's by printing a second one to put over here with maybe my task list on the front side. So you have double task list space, flip it up, and you would have coordinating to-do list space. And there we are. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like and comment. If you enjoyed watching more of these videos, please use the link in the upper left hand corner to subscribe. A new video goes up every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. I hope you will join us then. Also, feel free to subscribe to our newsletter. The website again is ERW Plans. When you subscribe, you will get three free downloads, one for a blank page, one for a Dutch door page, and one for a notebook page. Again, every Wednesday at 7 a.m. we go live. Thank you so much and I will see you on Wednesday.